<laughs> Welcome. Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for that welcome. You're already a way better audience than this week's Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC, <laughs> which was not CPAC. <laughs> Turns out CPAC really stands for crazy to put up all those chairs. <laughs> the crowd that did attend was mostly rabid MAGA supporters, so it's no surprise the former president got 62% of the vote compared to 20% for Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in the annual straw poll. So he's either really popular or straw poll voters just voted for the person whose hair looked most like straw. <laughs> the former president, long walk, but worth it. The former president <laughs> used his speech to re relaunch his 2024 campaign, and it got real creepy real fast. In 2016, I declared, I am your voice. Today, I add, I am your warrior. I am your justice. And for those who have been wronged and betrayed, I am your retribution. I am your retribution. That's pretty harsh. I haven't heard a political speech this dark since H.W. Bush at the 1992 Republican convention. Read my lips. I'll kill Clinton's dog. <laughs> but it wasn't all terrifying previews of the fascism to come. There was also some silly stuff like when he said this about the border wall. As you know, I built hundreds of miles of wall, and Biden, they took it away. And they actually took it away, and they hid it. They put it in a hiding area. Yes, they hid it. <laughs> in a hiding area. Where is that, you ask? Well, maybe you could find it in the new MAGA Kids book, Where Wall Go. <laughs> hey! There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's good. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't be a speech from the former president without some classic mouth whoopsies, like when he tried to go after the Manhattan DA who's investigating him. The racist Manhattan district attorney, Alvin Bragg, who is presiding over one of the most dangerous and violent cities in the United States. Yes. <laughs> the United States. <laughs> also known as the crowd at a Dave Matthews concert. <laughs> So, pretty embarrassing that he mispronounced the name of the country, but it's not like he did it a second time. I'll challenge the governors of all 50 states. Yes. <laughs> yes. Keep him coming. Yes. Keep him coming. He will challenge the governors of all 50 states, <laughs> like Alabama, <laughs> Ipado, <laughs> Wappington, and Mipipipi. <laughs> the former president also <laughs> I, humpback, humpback, I. Former president also announced his support for a policy that would give tax breaks to new parents living in certain areas. But it got kind of weird. We will support baby boomers. And we will support baby bonuses for a new baby boom. How does that sound? That sounds pretty good. I want a baby boom. Oh, you men are so lucky out there. You're so lucky. You are so lucky, men. What? <laughs> wait, lucky? Wait, lucky because sex? Does he think wives only have sex with their husbands if there's money in... Oh, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. That would... Okay, yeah. I can see why. I can see... <laughs> the ex-president also wants to make an investment in flying cars. Are his policies being written by an eight-year-old? <laughs> so we have cool, awesome cities, and everybody gets around in a flying car, and there's an awesome tree fort with a slide, and all the drinking fountains have chocolate and milk in them, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson is named official secretary of being my friend for life, and mommy gets money for having sex with daddy. <laughs> and that's what I did this summer. <laughs> Former Prez may have been the only candidate people cared about, but he wasn't the only candidate who spoke at CPAC. Nikki Haley described the greatest public health emergency we've ever faced. Wokeness is a virus more dangerous than any pandemic hands down. Yes. Wokeness is such a dangerous virus that it apparently killed two-thirds of her audience. Oh. It's got to be stopped. Oh. It's got to be stopped. Oh. It's the pronouns. It's the pronouns oh. that killed them. Haley wasn't the only one brave enough to shout nonsense into an empty room. Here's Lauren Boebert complaining about big government in the dumbest way possible. The federal 
government has become too big. The only three letters that our founding fathers ever thought were necessary are U-S-A. That's a hell of an excuse for not learning the rest of the alphabet. <laughs> The Founding Fathers, the Founding Fathers wanted us to be number one. Socialists want you to believe there are bigger numbers, like 15 and thruple. <laughs> no gathering, no gathering of Republicans would be complete without some good old down-home red meat pandering. Take it away, John, not that John Kennedy Kennedy. What else is the truth? The truth is that God is great, Beer is good, and, and the United States of America is star-spangled awesome. Did he write his speech with magnetic poetry? Uh, Eagles are patriots. Guns are men. Trucks are dead. Jesus is football. Amen, hike. <laughs> One a GOP contender notably absent from CPAC was Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. DeSantis originally took over the board that controls Disney World's development district. And one of DeSantis' new appointees to that board is former pastor and middle school health teacher pronouncing every syllable in menstruation, <laughs> Ron Perry. Perry is getting some attention for this comment he made in 2022. Why are there homosexuals today? Um, there are any number of reasons. You know, there's estrogen in the water. Uh, from birth control pills. They can't get it out. Obviously, obviously that is not a thing. But <laughs> if you are concerned, The Late Show has a new sponsor just for you. Are you worried about tap water turning you gay? Then try man water. Man water! The first bottled water that's filtered through beef jerky and then exposed to straight porn. This water has never cried. Or watched Thelma and Louise. Man water! It was also raised by a cold, distant father that never said, I love you. Man water. What are you waiting for, man? Man water! We got a great show for you tonight. My guests are Nick Kroll and Congressman Jim Himes. And when we come back, we go to health and a handbag.